Good morning. My name is Assistant Professor Kathy Leary. I am going to demonstrate in a simulation lab the proper way to perform tracheostomy care and suctioning. It's important to gather your equipment prior to tracheostomy care and suctioning of your patient. The first equipment that you would gather is your personal protective equipment such as a mask, goggles, normal saline, a suction catheter, a tracheostomy care tray, as well as a disposable inner cannula. The other equipment that you want to assess and make sure is working properly is your oxygen source connected to your patient, your suction equipment, Your suction equipment should be between 80 and 120 millimeters of mercury. And to check that, you would occlude the suction and look at the manometer and adjust the suction between 80 and 120. The other equipment that you would need to have available is an Ambu bag if you would need to ventilate ambu the patient prior to the suctioning procedure. If a patient has copious amount of secretions, you would use the ambu bag to hyperventilate your patient prior to the suctioning procedure. The next thing you would do after you gather all your equipment would be to don your personal protective equipment. In this simulation situation, we are not going to don a mask in the simulation situation. However, in the hospital environment, you would don a protective mask. We are going to don your protective goggles. Now I'm going to introduce myself to my patient. Good morning, Mrs. Jones. My name is Kathy, and I am going to do some tracheostomy care and also suction. I need to raise your bed in the semi-fowler's position. I'd like to take a listen to your lung sounds before I suction. Can you take a deep breath for me? Another deep breath. Again. One more deep breath. Thank you. In the hospital situation, you would do a complete lung assessment prior to suctioning your patient. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust the FiO2 to hyperoxygenate the patient prior to the suctioning procedure. I'm going to place the patient on 100% oxygen for a few breaths prior to suctioning or a minimum of two minutes. The next step is I'm going to attach my sterile suction catheter to my suctioning equipment. I'm going to open up my tracheostomy care tray and I'm going to place this drape across the patient's chest. I'm going to disconnect the tracheostomy mask. I'm just going to have you lift your head. While continuing to hyperoxygenate the patient. Now I need to pour some sterile saline into my tracheostomy tray. I'm 
Okay, are you okay? All right, now I'm gonna put on my sterile gloves. It's important to keep your dominant hand sterile as now I'm going to touch the suction equipment so this non-dominant hand is no longer going to be sterile. I'm going to remove my suction catheter. and untie the knot. And now I have sterile glove with a sterile suction catheter. Now I'm gonna lubricate the catheter with my sterile saline. My catheter is lubricated and I can proceed with suctioning Mrs. Jones. Mrs. Jones, I'm gonna insert the suction catheter now and when I do so, I'm gonna ask you to take a Big deep breath in. I'm going to insert the suction catheter without applying suction. Mrs. Jones, can you take a deep breath in, please? I insert the suction catheter. And Mrs. Jones, can you cough, please? cloth and I apply intermittent suction and remove the catheter and replace the oxygen tracheostomy mask. I continue to assess the patient. How are you doing? Allow the patient to rest in between suctioning and while the patient is resting I will lubricate my suction catheter to clear out any secretions that are in the catheter. Her breathing looks good. Her color looks good. I can proceed with suctioning Mrs. Jones for the second time. Mrs. Jones, I'm gonna suction you again. And when I do so, I'm gonna ask you to take another deep breath. You're doing very well. Again, I insert the catheter without applying suction. Mrs. Jones, please take a deep breath and then cough. And I apply suction, rotating the catheter as I exit out of the inner cannula. I replace the oxygen mask to continue to oxygenate Mrs. Jones. Let her rest for a moment, and now I'm going to remove the inner cannula. Mrs. Jones, I'm going to remove the inner cannula, and this might make you cough. And I remove the inner cannula, and I dispose of it. And if I see any remaining secretions near the trach, I can go ahead and suction those secretions that I visualize. I'm going to return the tracheostomy mask and continue to oxygenate Mrs. Jones as I dispose of my suction catheter. I'm going to put on some non-sterile gloves. How are you doing, Mrs. Jones? You did very well with the suctioning procedure. 
Now I'm going to insert a new inner cannula and change the gauze around the tracheostomy tube. It's important when you insert the new inner cannula that the distal portion remains sterile. This portion being the distal portion and this portion, the upper part, does not need to remain sterile. Okay, Mrs. Jones, I'm going to insert the inner cannula. Okay, and a little pressure there. Okay, and now I'm going to remove the dressing. and dispose of the dressing. It's important to clean the stoma area as well. And in your tracheostomy care tray, there are Q-tips to clean the stoma area. You would dip your Q-tip into the normal saline. And Mrs. Jones, I'm gonna have you lift your chin and you're going to clean the top portion of the stoma, wiping one way and then dispose of it. And take your other Q-tip and some sterile saline and clean the bottom portion of the stoma and dispose of it. The next step would be to apply a new drain gauze dressing around the trach. And I'm just going to put this new dressing on, Mrs. Jones. There. How does that feel? And I'm going to apply the tracheostomy mask back on Mrs. Jones. You did very well. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I decrease the amount of FiO2, the oxygen level, that Mrs. Jones is on. Back to what the physician ordered for the FiO2. Mrs. Jones, I'm going to listen to your lung sounds again. And can you take a deep breath, please? Again, another deep breath, and another deep breath. Thank you. It's important to assess lung sounds prior to suctioning as well as after suctioning to see if your patient's lung sounds have improved with the suctioning procedure. It's also very important to assess while suctioning the amount of secretions that you have suctioned out of the tracheostomy, the color of the secretions, and the consistency of the, con of the secretions, because all of those would be documented in your note. Now I'm going to dispose of the equipment. Okay, now I can take my gloves off as well as my personal protective equipment. And Mrs. Jones, you did very, very well with this procedure. I'm going to lower your head. Would you like your head lowered? 
Are you comfortable? Very good. And here is your call bell. And I will be back in a little while. That was a demonstration of the suctioning and tracheostomy care in a simulation lab.